Greetings Indie Warriors and welcome to I Dream of Indie. My name's Old Gamer Joe and today we are reviewing a Monsters Expedition through puzzling exhibitions on the Steam PC platform. This is a game that had released last year, but they've just now added a 100 level expansion for this title and it's also going to be coming on the Nintendo Switch. This is a puzzle adventure game, open world of sorts, where you can explore freely if you so wish at times, with really just one main mechanic, pushing on logs in hopes of crossing over to the next island. It sounds really simple, and it is, but some of these puzzles can get pretty challenging in a hurry. You see, the logs will only move in certain directions, and it's up to you to figure out which way they go. So, for example, you might have to push one up and then to the right, and then have it bump Bump into a rock, push it down, get it into the water at the right angle, that kind of thing. Also, there are larger logs at points, and these will help you to cross over as well, but they're a little harder to angle. At certain points in the game, you might also need to combine two logs to create a raft and then push off of a rock in order to progress to a new area of this island. More and more of this island will reveal itself as you travel about, and one of the coolest features of this game is that there are these human exhibitions on some of these islands. For example, example, you might come across a pair of human shoes or a fake vacation photo, which was my personal favorite of the ones that I found. Each exhibition has a written description that is generally speaking quite humorous. They're all worth seeking out. Getting around the island is pretty easy as well. There are certain areas where you'll have the ability to teleport, and this can get you to areas that you have yet to complete or you simply got frustrated with and decided to come back to later. I really like the simple mechanics of this game, which mostly rely on your brain power and the directional pad, not a lot of buttons to worry about, and it's a really cozy, casual type deal. While the puzzles can be challenging, none of them are pull your hair out challenging, and this makes for a relaxing experience in a lot of ways, one that you can walk away from for a while and then revisit, go to a different island, see if you can get through that, recharge your brain for a bit. That would be my approach when playing this game. I also found the visual presentation to be quite enjoyable. Simplistic, yes, not a lot of different settings, but that expansion now does help with that. But you do get your generic snowy areas, grassy areas, that kind of thing. And the graphics aren't going to blow you away, but they get the job done. Not the most mind-blowing game visually, but the island is nice looking. I do want to note that I played the game both before installing the expansion and after, and for some reason I did get a few frame rate chugs here or there after installing the expansion. Hopefully that's just a review copy deal on my end and you won't run into that, but I did think it was worth noting. Then as far as music and sound effects are concerned, this game takes a very minimalistic approach. You have some sparse, nice, pretty piano that's quite relaxing, and the sound effects are also laid back and not really in your face or anything like that. Not a lot of personality in the character you're playing as. It's just about the experience of roaming this island with some nice relaxing piano. I thought it worked effectively. If you were like me and missed this title the first go around, then I recommend checking it out if you're a fan of puzzle games, you want a little bit of exploration, and you want a puzzle game that's not overly frustrating. I like the thematic tone of this one, I thought it controlled easy enough, it's simply using the directions for the most part. The visual presentation won't blow you away, but it is effective, and along with that comes a nice subtle piano soundtrack. Also that 100 area expansion is free, so can't complain with that, and Switch owners can also jump into the action for the very first time. Thank you so much for watching the latest video from I Dream of Indie. We'd now like to take a moment to pay tribute to our great indie warriors who support us through channel memberships. Mitchell Hall, Kevalo, Bill Tcas, Christian Cruz, Strict9, Chris Jackson, Nathan Moore, Peach, Adriana Amato, CJR, Falco Lombardi, C. Coyle, Skepticism, Jen Rose, Jesse, CPM, and Julian Kolbus. Thank you for all you do for independent developers, publishers, and for I Dream of Indie. Everybody else, please head down to the description box below. Let's defeat the echo chamber and bring a voice to the voiceless ones in gaming.